Well, I'm just going to document, um, so I've got something on record really, how I'm intending to rivet the main ribs to the main spar on an RV9A. I'm intending to back rivet these in effect. Um, this isn't my idea really, this has been documented on a number of websites, but it just seems a really, really good idea. And um, it allows me to, um, well, I'm not really back riveting, it's just a means of actually holding, holding the um, bucking bar in a, uh, in a sort of perpendicular plane to the, uh, to the rivet to make sure the rivet hopefully sets nice and square. So I've got the main spar on um, a couple of blocks. On each end of the block is some ejection foam, which actually we use here in our uh, in our die making operations. Uh, it's a compressible foam, uh, but it does recover, so it will give us a little bit of springiness on the spar as it's riveted, hopefully. So I've just, um, all these ribs have been allodyned and I've given them a very, very light coating of primer, and that's what I'm gonna do with these. I haven't really coated the outer flanges either. These have gotta be dimpled, uh, but I'm just gonna probably leave those just in a sort of an allodyne state. So I've mounted them all, I've checked them off with a drawing. Um, I've masked up some of the, the main spar with some, um, uh, this is some powder coating, easy release powder coating tape, just to make sure it doesn't get damaged and I've put some powder coating tape on each of the spars as well where I intend to Clico just to make, again just to make sure the Clico pliers or the Clicos don't damage the um, don't damage the ribs. So I've set the spar up pretty well horizontal it's pretty level um, and underneath the spar I've got some uh, my back riveting plate I've got some ground stock steel. Uh, I've got a steel bar that um, I managed to find in the workshop, which is about, I suppose, about three inch square by about eight inch. And on top of that is my tungsten bucking bar. Don't know if you can just see that. Um, and on top of that, I've actually got, well, this is just some protection film, which I intend to put on to, uh, just to protect the spar in case I have a bit of a mishap with a bucking bar or anything. 